that's where he was standing when I shot it. That's quite a bit of blood. Good morning, everybody. Today we are in the foothills, trying to put some meat in the freezer. It's been a tough season for me. It's been warm, weather was not cooperating. I remember I kept complaining about it. I was like, man, I hope it gets colder. And boy, did it ever. Now I'm gonna have to hunt in pretty much arctic temperatures. It's minus 25 now plus wind chill. I had to spike up my boots as well. The yeah, snow is pretty deep with ice underneath. Hiking in, I gotta pace myself a bit so I don't sweat. It's quite a bit of work hiking in. There's deep snow. And it makes it harder to walk. Not too many hunters around here today. I've seen a pickup truck up the hill staring at some uh, cow elk. Maybe that's gonna keep them up there, five kilometers away from me or so. I had a cow tag last year, but I didn't manage to shoot one. That was tough, and now I see them. That's how it is. When you don't have the tag, you see the animals. down in this forest and cold for some uh, white tail for a bit. I was waiting to cool off a bit before I started hiking again. White tail deer is not a priority right now. I'm gonna go somewhere where I know I have a bigger chance of running into elk and mule deer. I'm so happy I spiked up guys, my boots would have been slipping under the snow, it's just slick grass, you know these guys are helping a lot. warmed up a bit I should be about minus 16 right now I think the high for the day is going to be minus 10 celsius way better than minus 25 at least I don't have to wear my balaclava and uh, you know I don't know it dressed pretty warm so I'm gonna have to shed some layers for sure I'm gonna keep looking so far I didn't see any deer just tracks So the deer, it's grazing there on the next property over. Those white tails are gone now. They went in the opposite direction on the other property. Probably gonna have a bit of a snack. I raided the kids' Halloween, uh, <laughs> Halloween bag this morning. I made it all with a uh, Kit Kat and a uh, peach and chewy chocolate chip granola bar. Wow. Either the rat is on or maybe he wants to talk to them about their extended car warranty.
it's about 10 30 now um, i'm gonna hang around for a little bit and i'm gonna start moving again it's starting to get a bit cold it should be about minus 10 now from what i've seen this morning i can't check now i don't have any signal my feet are fine it's just uh just my back a little bit i got uh I got my 1000 gram uh, insulation boots. I got the Tanner Pronghorn with uh, some nice wool socks inside and toe warmers. In this kind of temperatures, you gotta have toe warmers, guys. Unless you're constantly on the move, you stop for a little bit, doesn't matter how much insulation you have in your boots, you're gonna get cold. These bikes. They did a really good job. I normally sleep quite a bit with these boots on these uh, slippery uh, heels. But today they did pretty good. Remember how early I said uh, I, I was bragging about not taking a tumble yet? Oh yeah, it happened. I just slipped on this little. My gun <laughs> fell in the snow. I fell in the snow. Perfect ending to a crappy day. What can I say? Today, this forest defeated me. I'll be back. I'm getting close to where these deer are bedding. Last time I was here, I found about eight beds. <laughs> guys they just don't know what danger is yet I'm up in their beds now I found the first one looks like it hasn't been used last night right there these beds were fresh last time I was here now I can tell they haven't been used in a while this one I just noticed two hunters underneath that buck I just saw over there. That's how it is here. As I was just trying to talk to you guys about the other hunters, I spoke to white tail from these bushes in front of me, I just saw its tail.
the shot of the white elk. It ran down the hill, I see some blood. So I think it's a done deal. <clears throat> I saw it from up the hill. From up there. I saw it walking between the trees and then I lost it for a minute. I couldn't see it anymore, so I slowly made my way down the hill. And then, just looking around very carefully, I managed to see it at the bottom of this big pine tree looking at me. So, uh, <clears throat> it goes to show that you always gotta stay still and don't assume that deer is gone until you actually, you know, scan. The entire, the entire area around it. So the deer were just at the bottom of that tree right there. Right there. And uh, I was up the hill about 150 yards. All I could see was just the neck and the head. So I made the neck shot. I found the blood. She was right here. At the bottom of this tree. Quite possible, it's a fawn. That's where he was standing when I shot it. There's quite a bit of blood. And that's why I was hunting with a 30 at 6, this 300 PRC. It's got too much speed for such a close range. She's gonna make it far. Oh, I can't believe how far this deer ran. White of fawn. This is the deer I spooked up the hill there. I knew it was going to be in this forest, so what I did is I followed the ridge line. I kept scanning the forest and finally I saw him. They're pretty easy to spot in this white snow. He's gonna quarter him. At least he's gonna be a easy pack out of here. Got the white all on my back now. I managed to hit it all in a elk game bag. Enough meat to uh, get it going, get my freezer going. Uh, like I said, one of my tags is gone now. I have another hunter less. Tough hunt. Well guys, uh, heading out of here with a little consolation prize. This little fawn will do just fine in my freezer. Uh, some people might think I'm crazy that I'm going to this trouble for a small white tail. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, there's areas where I could get bigger white tail easier. I could go out east in the fields where they feed on grains and you know, they grow way larger than here and uh, you know just walk off the road shoot one in the field to load it up is that what hunting is all about I don't know this is the kind of hunting I like to do and I will always do uh, even though it doesn't tip the scales as much as an eastern hunt with a bigger deer easier hunt a place where you know worst thing that can hurt you is last night's dinner I'd rather hunt here between cougars, grizzlies, black bears, wolves. It just adds to the challenge and the terrain, the deep snow, the cold. 
the solitude. It's what it's all about. I'm glad I could bring you guys with me. Boot track stories, guys. This is how they're made. Please uh, smash that like button, subscribe. I really appreciate all your support. I'll see you on the next one.